Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new Toyota Tundra TRD Pro, finished in solar octane orange. And today, I'm gonna review it for you guys. Man, does this color ever pop. You know, I think it's funny, every time I see a Toyota commercial or another review of this TRD Pro online, it seems to always be finished in this color. That makes sense, it seems to be Toyota's hero color for this new generation of the Tundra, but when I actually see TRD Pros out on the road, well, that's a different story. Let's be honest. If you're gonna buy one of these, you're gonna get a gray one or white, but come on, that's so boring. I understand solar octane might be a turnoff for a lot of people, but personally, I love it. I am so thankful that Toyota offers this as an option on the Tundra because I think it makes it stand out on the road even more than the TRD Pro already does. Now, you might be sitting here watching it going, Isaac, I agree, the color's awesome. Well, I... Oh, I just can't convince the missus to let me get one. And I totally understand her argument. She's probably sitting there like, okay, Harold, let's go over this one more time. I understand you're going through a midlife crisis. I'm here for you. I'm your wife. But you want to spend $75,000 on an orange pickup truck? And I empathize with your hypothetical wife greatly. It is a bold color on a very expensive truck, but never fear. Show her this video and I promise you by the end of it, I'll convince you guys that this is an amazing truck. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Global Motor Trade for allowing me to borrow this vehicle to review. If you're looking for new or used vehicles, I'll leave a link to Global Motor Trade's website in the description below. Starting out up front on this new Tundra, when they unveiled this generation, it was very divisive. Some people loved it and some people hated it. Now, I was somewhere in the middle. I thought certain trims of the truck looked pretty good, and other ones, like this TRD Pro, oh, I felt like they had too much going on. But I've been doing this long enough to know that I have to see the truck or car, whatever it might be, in person before I make my final decision. Sometimes pictures just don't do vehicles justice. And eventually I was able to see more of these out on the road and I have the opportunity to review this one today and I'm happy to report that I do really like it. I think that it is a cool truck and it isn't as complex looking as I initially thought. I, I, from the pictures, I was like, ooh, there's a lot going on there. Now, that being said, I like this truck. I think it's a good, attractive looking truck. There are two styling cues that I do not like. I think Toyota should have foregone these, and I will talk about those when we get to them on the truck. But first, we need to talk about the front end. So you'll have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights incorporated right here. Then you'll have LED fog lights down here, parking sensors, and Tundra stamped into the grill. Then you will have uh, your sensor for the radar guided cruise control and everything like that. There's also a front camera incorporated into the grill. Then at the top of the grill, you will have predator lights. One cool detail about the marker lights is that they say TRD in them and a big Heritage Toyota logo, but we have reached the first styling cue that I think Toyota should have foregone, and I still don't like it, <laughs> even though I've seen it in person. And that would be this. There we go. All right, the LED light bar incorporated into the grill. Personally, I think it looks really tacky. I am not a light bar guy. I know that they are incredibly useful off-roading and at night on really dark roads, you know, but ugh, I don't like it. I just don't think it should have been incorporated uh, at least this visibly into the grill and it looks like something you'd get online after market. I can't believe you've done this. Personally, not my cup of tea. And that's okay. We can agree to disagree 
on these uh, styling cues, and we can still love the truck together. Moving underneath the hood in the TRD Pro, this is powered by Toyota's iForce Max Hybrid V6, which is the more powerful of the two available V6 options on this Tundra. This makes 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque, and it is paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Moving to the profile of the TRD Pro, starting down here with the wheels and tires, you're going to get Falcon Wild Peak AT 285-65 tires around these forged TRD Pro 18-inch wheels. Now, other models of the TRD Pro have just that red center cap, but what I love here is it also says Pro and it also says BBS Forged etched into the wheel. I think that's a really neat detail. And then peeking in here, you can see the Fox shocks and some of the other off-road features, including this really nice TRD skid plate down here. And then if we move up here, you'll have the matte black fender flares that have this camo texture. Initially, I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but seeing them in person, I think they're pretty neat. And then moving up here, you'll have your TRD Pro badge on the side with this fake air vent that's on both sides of the hood, but it does add to the kind of aggressive stance of this truck. And then additionally, if we move here to the mirror, you'll have black plastic. And then there is a camera down here. There, they are power folding mirrors with turn signal indicators implemented into them. Then you'll also have blind spot monitoring. And of course they are power adjusting. Down here, you'll have black plastic uh, door handles. And then you'll have TRD running boards right here. See, it says TRD right there and as we move down the profile we'll move here to the back check out this dual trd exhaust that is so neat those tips are really cool and then we fully move here to the back tailgate now there are three ways to open the tailgate you have your traditional way you know you just hit the button right here and boom and then also, if let's say you're holding something, you're carrying something, it's really tough, there's a button right here. You can bump that with your arm, and then that will also drop the tailgate. Now, unfortunately, that button is only on the driver's side. It's not located here on the passenger side. That would be nice, though it is still cool that that's a feature. And then last but not least, um, it's becoming more traditional, you can also hold a button on the key fob to drop the tailgate as well. Let's do uh, a little backwards uh, truck stuff than what I normally do. Normally I talk about the tailgate and the exterior first, but let's talk about the inside since we're here. This has uh, a spray on bed liner on top of the composite bed that this is built on. So the composite bed is a fiberglass material that basically uh, cuts rust out. So there is no possibility for rust here. Um, and then this composite material on top of it aids in helping it not chip or crack. Though I don't have composite on top of the bed of my truck. My Tacoma is right over here and my composite hasn't chipped at all. It's been really nice. Over here, you'll have a household power outlet, some LED lights, and some tie downs, which is really nice. And then this is a factory, um, or I should say dealer add-on um, tonneau cover, which is nice. Now, speaking of the tailgate, you'll have TRD Pro stamped into the back, and then that camo-ish texture will continue down here and up here on the rear of the truck, and then you'll have your tow hitch along with parking sensors. I think it's very interesting. You have these uh, triple stack designed tail lights, and because of this, you cannot incorporate. I guess Toyota couldn't figure out a way to incorporate the reverse lights into the tail lights, so they're actually located down here, which I think is pretty interesting. And then right here in the handle, I neglected to mention this earlier. Earlier, it says Toyota, and you'll have your backup camera and a puddle light right here, as well as like reverse predator lights <laughs> you know you have the front grills predator lights and uh, back here you also have that uh, mimicking and then you can't really see it and I have the tonneau up so I'll just zoom doo -doo -doo, up there oh wow that actually zoomed really nicely um, up here you'll have a camera for the bed and you'll also have a camera that uh, incorporates into the mirror we'll talk about that a little bit more when we move to the inside 
Moving to the interior of the TRD Pro, it is very, very finely appointed in here. Let's start with the door panel. So you'll have soft touch leather up here to rest your arm and this really nice red accent stitching that continues down here to the side of the door. Then you'll have all your window controls, your uh, mirror controls right here. As I mentioned before, they are power folding. Those will power fold automatically uh, when you lock and unlock the door. That's really useful. And then down here, you'll have your uh, power seat controls, your memory settings. Then you'll have your heated steering wheel, your light bar, your bed uh, outlet controls right here. And then you'll have your rear parking sensors, your fuel cap, uh, bed light, stuff like that, automatic high beams and your trip odometer button. And then if we move to the steering wheel, it says TRD down here. It is leather wrapped with this nice red um, section at the top just to, I guess, center the steering wheel, give it a sportier look. And then you have a fully digital gauge cluster right here, which is so cool. Really nice to see that. Very customizable. A lot of different things that you can do on this and mess with in your settings um, to be able to pull stuff up. And obviously it gives you readouts on pretty much everything else. Uh, on the truck, which is really useful. I've touched upon this and the screen in some other Tundra videos, so I'll be brief um, just because I've talked pretty extensively about the interior. But if it is your first video, I do want to cover this well. Um, the screen is not flickering uh, in real life, just like the headlights are not flickering. That is a camera refresh rate issue. This screen has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto access, um, and then you do have the ability, obviously, to uh, listen to FM, AM radio, stuff like that. Very, very useful. Um, one thing I do want to touch upon, we'll turn it on real quick. There is a red TRD uh, push to start. If we put this into reverse, you're going to get your backup camera right there with guiding lines that turn with the wheel. You'll also have a 360 degree top down view of the truck as well. And you'll have quite a view. <laughs> Look at that view of my Tacoma. If that <laughs> That's funny. Um, if, you, if you want, you can really pull up a lot of different views. Um, and this is great for off-roading. Um, this is uh, your rear cameras right here and the aforementioned bed camera. So that goes down onto the bed. That's really nice. A um, lot of different options. Toyota, uh, personally, I think is uh, really doing well to compete with General Motors in this uh, area. I think the camera quality has been something that GM has been the king of for quite a long time now, and Toyota is quickly catching up with all their different views and the quality of the camera um, angles that are included. So that's really nice. And uh, that pretty much wraps up what I have to talk about the screen. Down here you'll have your climate controls, heated and ventilated seats. Then you'll have a button if you actually just want to turn your camera view on. Uh, this is kind of an, uh, a 360 degree view. Um, you can do that as well. Then your hazards, your rear locker, useful for off-roading. And then you have your shifter down here, your TRD shifter, your electronic parking brake, and then uh, your four-wheel drive selector. This is nice, you can just push that down and kind of pull it to get whatever, uh, get into whatever uh, mode you wanna be, that's the word I was looking for. Then you'll have your drive mode selector down here, tow haul, uh, your crawl control modes, which is really nice, and your multi-terrain select. Then you'll have a wireless charger right here. And if we go down here into um, your center armrest, you have a little storage uh, space that opens up for USB and USB-C. And then you can open the entire thing up for a massive uh, amount of space in there. That's really useful. And then if we go up to the mirror, if we flick this, that will turn the mirror into a camera. Who would have thought that it could be done? But it could be, and it was on this Tundra and many other vehicles that's slowly becoming a more standard feature. Love to see that. And then you can flip it back to be a regular mirror if you'd like. And there are also buttons here for like garage door opening uh, if you'd like to do that as well. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. You get the little screen that pulls up on there. Um, just what a, what a, what a neat uh, bunch of features. And uh, then if we move a little bit further up, you have the vent shade for your fully panoramic moonroof, something the GMC Sierra is still lacking. GMC, we're waiting. Toyota Tundra has it. 
and uh, that is just so neat let's so much light in here really adds to the ambiance of this cabin um, very comfortable space to spend your time and of course that whole thing opens also this is another uh, Tundra exclusive. This whole rear window goes down, which is amazing. That is uh, even included, I believe, on the base SR. I know at least the SR5, which I recently reviewed. I don't think that video has come out yet. That video will come out in a couple weeks. Uh, that video, that, sorry, that truck even has the uh, rear power folding window, which is really nice. Love that feature. If I had a Tundra, I would use that all the time. <laughs> And then if we move to the seats right here, TRD Pro is embroidered into them with stitching and that cool camo texture continues. And the floor mats are also TRD uh, Tundra Pro branded um, with a cool like tire tread pattern. Now that brings us, let me zoom the camera back out here, to the second design detail that I really don't like. Where it says Toyota right there, I just think that looks tacky too. Uh, I think just like the light bar, it's cheesy. Um, and, and normally I wouldn't mind that, but I just don't think aesthetically that Toyota logo fits with the rest of this interior. I think it should say something like TRD right there. But truly, those are really the only two things that I don't love about this truck. Um, and, and even then, those are petty things. Those are, those are not deal breakers for me. Uh, on the quality of this truck and the uh, overall design and look of it. So with that, uh, let's take a quick look at the back seats. Moving to the rear seats in this Tundra, the leg room is plentiful. I have this seat uh, actually as far back as it will go. I was using it for filming and I still have four or five inches of leg room and I am 5'9 and I have probably two or three inches of headroom. If I lean back into this, yeah, probably about two inches of headroom, but still very comfortable back here. Uh, definitely somewhere where you could relax a long term if you're going on a road trip very comfortably with three adults and then you could fold this armrest right down right here you'll have two cup holders which is nice and uh, the seats are just as finely trimmed as they are up front now down here you can lift the seats up but the battery for the hybrid engine is actually located back here. So if I stand up, I can fold this up. This is the battery for the hybrid engine down here. So um, you could use this flat area as a storage spot, but um, there is not a completely flush load floor, unfortunately, back here. That's the trade-off when you get the bigger uh, iForce Max engine. One more thing back here, you're gonna get a household power outlet two USBs and climate vents back here as well as cup holders and a little storage area. Unfortunately, no rear heated seats on the Tundra. The Ram and the F-150 have this beat. I really would have wished that this did include that. That is going to conclude my review of this Tundra TRD Pro. Unfortunately, this is a pre-sold vehicle, so I can't get it out on the road, but I've driven a lot of these Tundras before, so for my driving impressions, I'll leave a link in the description below and probably somewhere up here. Though, I will still give you guys some brief driving impressions of this particular truck. It's spiffy! All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. But before I go, I wanted to mention that I am a Christian. And if you have any prayer requests, I'd love to be able to pray for you. You can leave those in the comment section below. And lastly, I like to do a weekly Bible verse. This week's is 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.